Hey guys, welcome back to Basant Kitchen. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to make chicken teriyaki and I'm gonna show you how to make actually teriyaki sauce in halal way without any marin or without any sake. It's a simple recipe and I put my own twist on it. It's an optional choice, but I am telling you, this recipe is definitely Basan style. I'm gonna go over basic ingredients with you guys really quick. I have broccoli, red peppers, brown sugar, honey, soy sauce, crushed red chili flakes, granulated garlic, sesame seeds, fresh ginger, Cajun seasoning, I'm using about five pounds of chicken breast and I'm gonna use a pound of 16, 20 count shrimp. Cornstarch, rice pilaf, water, oil, and my favorite sriracha. So guys, we have all these cool, awesome ingredients in. It's gonna be three or four step recipe, but it is very simple and it is awesome. So without any further ado, let's get started. So we're gonna start off with rice. I have four cups of rice. I'm gonna have the recipe for this in the description box. The way it works is for every cup of rice, you need two cups of water. So we have four cups of rice and I have eight cups of water boiling. I'm gonna add rice and three tablespoons of butter. And I wanna season it because, you know. So I'm gonna put one teaspoon of granulated garlic half a teaspoon salt and half a teaspoon pepper. I'm gonna give it a quick stir. And what you wanna do is you wanna bring it to a boil then put it on low heat, cover it, and forget about it. All right, so we've got the first boil. I'm gonna give it a quick stir and cover it and put it on low heat and forget about it. Let it cook. All right, guys. So now we're moving on to the cool part. We're gonna make teriyaki sauce. The reason why this teriyaki sauce is different than all the other ones that you get in the store is because it is alcohol free. It has no merit and no sake and the taste is amazing. It is such a cool and simple recipe. A few steps and I'm gonna show you a few things that's gonna take it to the next level only if you want it. So let's get started. I'm gonna cook it on medium heat with two cups of water. One cup soy sauce. Half cup brown sugar. We have one half cup honey. About one inch ginger piece. Two teaspoon granulated garlic. And I like to do this for my teriyaki. I like to give it a little zing. So I put one teaspoon red chili flakes, but you don't have to do it. You can skip it on medium heat. You have to cook it down so everything mixes in. Now you can do it two ways. I'm gonna add a little cornstarch to make it thick because I don't want soy sauce to cook down because the more it cooks down, it gets saltier. So I want it to thicken, but without cooking down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put two tablespoons of cornstarch which mixed with a little bit of water to thicken it up. But not yet, I'm gonna let it cook down. So I brought it on, on a boil. I have two tablespoons of cornstarch, so I'm gonna try to thicken it. Well, I am gonna thicken it very gradually. You don't wanna overdo it. Let the heat do the job. You don't want it too thick and too runny. So I want you to see how beautifully the sauce is getting done. And look, I'll show you the coolest part. As it's cooking, it's getting thicker. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the ginger piece out because it has no use anymore. And I like to add sesame seeds here. Where is it? Oh, there they are. And I'm gonna get rid of these. And I'm gonna add about two teaspoons of sesame seeds. Totally optional if you guys don't want to. You don't have to, but for the optics and for the flavor, toasted sesame seeds are amazing. With a little crushed pepper, look at this. I'm gonna show you how gorgeous it is. That's the sauce. Sauce is ready, and look at how beautifully it's done. The smell, the color, and beautiful consistency. 
no marin, no sake. Just plain, simple ingredients. Now we're gonna let it rest. I'm gonna check on the rice really quick. It's still going, has about another half hour, but the stove is gonna do its job. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to chicken, vegetables, shrimp, and then we're gonna put it all together. But son, start prepping chicken. I'm gonna cut it into two fillets. Just no hacking, slide the knife in. light hand, just break the tissue. You don't have to kill it, just break the tissue. This is what you want. So it takes in all the marinade and cooks faster. I'm gonna put three tablespoons of regular olive oil, three tablespoons of Cajun seasoning. I'll put the recipe for it in the description box and just give it a rough mix. We're gonna do the same thing with shrimp. Two tablespoons of oil and one tablespoon of Cajun rum. Just mix it in. Grill ready. I have it heating up at 400 degrees. This is what you want to hear. So you start searing in the spices. We're gonna grill it. Finish our awesome finish. I let it cook for three, three minutes on each side. Wow, that's exactly what you want. You see, we're gonna flip it at least twice. I love, love grilled chicken. Other option for people who do not have a grill, you could put two tablespoons or maybe three tablespoons of oil on the pan, get it nice and hot sear it on each side, finish it off. But if you have the grill, I highly recommend using this method because it makes your dish taste a thousand times amazing. Chicken is ready. We're gonna take it off the grill. Wow. Look at the beautiful grill work on it. This is what's gonna change, elevate your flavor to a whole new level. In two tablespoons of oil, we're gonna finish shrimp too. So protein work will be all done. Then we're gonna saute the vegetables, put that on the side, and finish rice. We're gonna put the shrimp down, pan is nice and hot. You don't wanna overcook them, minute, minute and a half each side, if that. But you'll know when the shrimp's done. Take it off and let it rest. I'm gonna flip them, 30 seconds. Wow, see how beautifully they're cooking? That's exactly what you want. After this, you're gonna take them off and let them rest. I'm gonna take the shrimp out now. Within a minute, minute and a half, it was all done. I'm gonna let it rest. And now, we're gonna finish our recipe, basan style. Start working on the veggies. I'm gonna put two tablespoons of oil down. Get it nice and hot. So over here, it's a matter of preference. I am gonna saute the vegetables, but you can steam them. I like a little rough saute. With a little char on the veggies, a little crunch. I don't like them too soft. So I'm gonna use this method and plus it gives it a vibrant color. So this is about the consistency you want. You don't want it to be too soft and too hard. Like a nice al dente. I'm gonna take it off. Now we're gonna start working on the chicken. Just add it to the pan. Now it's gonna cook down, infuse itself to the chicken. You see this? It's caramelizing right now. Let it do its job. So in the same batch, I'm gonna add vegetables. I'm gonna add a little bit more to cover the vegetables because they soak the sauce in. As soon as over here, you see vegetables are in, the sauce is done, you can see the caramelization. It's beautifully infused with the vegetables. The thing that's missing is the shrimp. I didn't put it in yet because I don't want it to overcook. We're gonna finish this. We're gonna plate the chicken and vegetables and then I'm gonna put the shrimp, toss it in the leftover sauce on the pan and put it on top. Cause we don't wanna overcook them. Simple trick, but makes a whole lot of difference. This is it. Everything is ready. I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna let it rest. 
And then we're gonna move on to my favorite part. We're gonna plate. I'm gonna start plating. And grab the protein down. I'm gonna plate the vegetables. Now that I have the chicken plated, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add shrimp and we're gonna hydrate it. So putting the shrimp in the end in the sauce, what it does is prevents it from overcooking. It's gonna take in all the flavor, get the color, and it's gonna still hold its texture, form, shape, all of it's super important. I'm gonna start plating shrimp. My favorite part. This is it guys, shrimp and chicken teriyaki is ready. Each step is a recipe on its own and it comes together in a gorgeous, beautiful dish. And the star of the show is the sauce I made. Without any sake or marin wine, it is halal recipe, it is simple, and you can duplicate it without any issues. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe because I had a great time making it. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share, and we will get you guys next time. Basan style. I'm gonna take it for a spin. Chicken is nice and tender. Mm. Wow. The sauce is off the hook. It is the right command. Kind of sweet. It's not super salty. I'm gonna take a shrimp. Thank you.